Welcome to another video guys, and this time we're back out at sea for some taupe. I'd also like to apologise for not managing to put up videos for a long time, but hopefully we'll be back to one a week from now on. I've also left this launching clip in, in case it helps anyone with their solo beach launches. Alright guys, let's flick it on the video and it's time for another tote trip. So let's get out there and see if we can get any. So guys, that was a bit of a messy intro I imagine, but the plan for today is to get out to one of the tote marks, Gut Boy, I'm sure you all know this one, I've done it plenty of videos out there. And we're going to try for an early tote because we're in sort of mid-May now and that's the time where you get the big females. So we've got quite a nice day, we're going to try and make it out there. See if we can show you some fish. Let's go. Look at that guys, straight onto the mackerel. That's a perfect fresh bait, that's beautiful. Right guys, a bit of a hectic start, but I thought I'd do my little add anchor intro now because I was straight onto mackerel there, which is great because we've got some really nice fresh bait. Um, as soon as I, first thing I always do is put the feathers down because you don't want to miss them. And I got a couple of mackerel that are perfect bait size, so I'm going to get those out live now. I'll show you the rig real quick. So, what I've got there is an 8 ounce lead there, and then I've got about What's that? Five, six foot of 200 pound mono, which I much prefer to wire, going to a size six catfish hook. And that's what I prefer to use. That always ends up riding right the scissors. Um, and also, I am going to crush the barb down on that because I always forget to, and people mention in the comments that they're right to mention, crush that barb down. Um, so, yeah, going to get one of those mackerel out now and see if we can get a tope. I, I was out here the other day uh, trying to do this same video on the same tide a few days ago and we just got battered guys it was just proper there was a real uncomfy swell out here and i just really struggled to make a video i didn't catch any tote the tripod was falling over today it's it's not flat by any means but it's all right as long as we keep an eye on it so hopefully we can make a bit of a better video well there's the first little livey going out uh, sorry for those of you who are squeamish but that is going to be absolute catnip for a nice tote Always loosen that drag as well, because they like to take when you're doing something else. Fishing a whole mackerel, of course. I'm probably not going to pick up dogfish. I might not even pick up rays, but really, we're after a tope. If I go back to mackerel fillets at some point during the day, we might not, you know, we might pick up a nice ray. But for now, I'm all out for the tope. I've got another bite on another live mackerel. I'm just going to let this one develop a bit more. They're not running like two. Go with it and have a look. I think that's a ray, guys. Maybe it's a huss. I 
I'm still about ready to start. That's what it was last time, you know. There it is, guys. That's what we had last time. It wasn't a terrible, I was getting excited. It was one of these guys. But it's a nice fish. This one's a female, it's a young female. This one probably isn't popping yet, but I'm not sure. When I say popping, of course, rays don't give birth to live young like two. They drop those mermaids' purses. But this is the time of year, I hope that audio is working out. I'm sorry if it's not. This is the time of year you do get the big gravid rays. Um, so you have to be really careful with them. But this female isn't gravid, so let's get her back. One thing I will say is just um, the difference between fresh and old bait. I've got an old mackerel down there. Nothing is touching it now because I've used those two that I feathered up. Whereas first one, first live bait I put down, we had a run. I suspect a ray. Second live bait, we caught that ray. That's a ray of about seven pound. Since then, just nothing on the monkey bait. So what I'm going to do, put a bit of lug down if I can't feather up anything else. Try and get a dab or a white in, fill it head off, and then get that down with some fresh fish bait. Again, I don't think it's a tote because it's not running. Could be a nice array, could be a huss. Let's find out. Doesn't want to come up. Another lovely ray there. That's a bigger one. Slightly bigger ray there. Barely hooked that. Whew. Fell out. I should have really netted that, but I don't tend to use a net for rays. Yeah, we'll give this one away because, like I say, this time of year, the smaller rays are weighing heavier. Like this will be an adult fish, and again, being a female, might have those mermaids' purses in her. So you can actually get doubles quite easily this time of year. But whatever it weighs, I'll pop it in here because I'm not going to do another clip. Um, and we'll get this fish back. It's good sport these because they, they do pull hard, like you saw there. They don't like coming up. But they don't run like the taupe do, so I am hoping we get into some bigger taupe. But it, yeah, like I say, it's a good start. Got some bites on both rods here. Little baby dogfish on that one. Hopefully something a bit bigger on the other one. Yeah. 
Yeah. Little dogfish on tiny sabikis. And I've got the other rod going as well. Another thorn back. There we go. Another thorn back, a bit smaller. That one's probably five pound. That last one went eight, eight and a half, something like that. But we're getting plenty of these. I'm just hoping with a different tide state, something, you know, sometimes when the tide changes, different fish move in or out. Hopefully, there's some tape soon. But I mean, these are, these are keeping us going for now, that's for sure. Let's get this one back. Bit of a close up. They're nice fish rays, I like catching them. Um, especially this time of year as well when you can get doubles. But you know, I wouldn't mind a double actually. If we keep going through some rays, we might switch that to the target if we can't get any soap. Let's get this one back. Well, we've just caught one of these guys and I'm not gonna use it as bait, but I am just gonna show you it because I think they're proper cool little things. That is a little tub gurnard. And I think they're the coolest fish ever. Look at their little legs going. Those blues on the edges of the pectorals, it's beautiful. I'll just, might not do it justice so much taking it out, but look at the colors on that. Yeah, just caught him on sabikis. And like I say, I'm not, I don't have the heart to use them for bait. I don't think I could, don't think I could do it. Too nice little thing, but we'll pop him back. Do just be careful as well with these. They are quite spiky, that dorsally sticking up there. That's full of spikes. Ace little fish, then. Well, guys, on the sabikis, we haven't had a mackerel, but we've just got a white in. And that's a great tote bait right there. Probably get nobbled by a ray, but at least we're fishing fresh bait again. And we've got a bite on the other rod. Oh, it's all kicking off. Put a bit of water. Come on, 60-pound tote this. Run through a tote. We are onto a tote. That's what I wanted. Everyone was just unhooking that white in. Oh, yes. I love fishing for these. I don't need to wait till you lose still. Oh, it's going to be. I've got the deck not prepared for a tope in any way. Feeling this fish is tail wrapped. Very erratic fight. Oh, I need to get myself in some kind of order. We've got starboard clear now. There's a tote. It's a nice fish. Do I try and take it now? Fish wasn't ready. I think what 
I'm going to do, guys. I'll try and show you this fish at the stern if you can see that. I don't know. Can you see the fish there? What I'll do is try and get him aboard without the camera on because I don't want it to fall in. Then we'll get a bit of footage with it. Whew. Well, guys, there is a beautiful, beautiful 32 pound soap. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love fishing for these. Proper sport, proper wild things. And they don't half get your heart going. This one went on the scales at 32 pound. I was wrong, it's not a female, it's a male fish. As most totally catch will be. And it's my first of the season. So I'm gonna make sure it goes back really well. Great stuff. As you can see, this soap is full of life and ready to swim off. Go on buddy, off you go. That's how you want to see him go. Beautiful fish. Another white in there, another tote bait. Well, as you can see by the fact that I'm a bit more silhouetted, the tide's, the tide's swinging around now and it's starting to flood in. Um, the fishing has gone really, really quiet. I've sort of had about 45 minutes since my last clip um, and I've just had nothing over slap water. And I've just picked up that white in and perhaps the fishing will start uh, picking up again, who knows. Tiny little dab there. I just thought I'd show one because I haven't shown one already. Um, this is the thing with fishing out here, I, I do love this mark because there's just so much you can catch. Like what have I had today? Dab, whiting, tub gurnard, we've had some mackerel, we had a dogfish, we had those rays, we had a tope. That's, I don't know, that didn't count, seven, eight species. The only thing I haven't had out here is, that you can get is bullhuss. So, it is a nice multi-species mark as well. Another dogfish. You've probably all seen plenty of these. So I don't need to film it for very long. Well guys, as suspected, it has kicked up a little bit as that tide's turned. Uh, the wind's come up and it, I think it's just gonna get a bit choppier from now on in. It's all right now, but I'm messing with the audio. I don't want the camera to fall over. And the fishing has gone really quiet as the tide's turned, so. I think that might be it. I'm doing a preemptive sort of outro in case it is. I'm really happy with the day we've had. I've started the tope season uh, with a nice 30. So yeah, we had some nice rays. We had some mixed species. Couldn't really ask for much more than that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, pop them in the comments and I'll see you next time.